Hey everyone, this is Matt from DrawingTutorialsOnline.com. We have another really, really cool sketchbook, and we've got a gal sitting back there with yellow pants. Can you see her? <laughs> okay, this is Joe. Joe is the man, and Joe has some really, really... Joe, how are you? I'm, I'm doing great. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Joe did some really cool uh, character designs today, but let's take a peek through his sketchbook. Um, Joe's got three of them. We'll see how long this goes. And I uh, just, Joe has such a really kind of neat style uh, to his artwork. I, I, I really, really dig it tremendously. And he does these really kind of masculine characters. And of course, when I say masculine, <laughs> where, there we have like a, a gal, uh, two gals actually. Wow, this is, this is really looking good. These are out of your imagination. Uh, most of them, yeah. Cool, cool. So, what is all this stuff? Like, this is just all out of your imagination? Character design for your animation? Well, this part um, specifically is like uh, was an armor study. I just like sat down one day and just like Ugh, I can't draw armor for in, like my life. So, I just sat down, looked looked up a bunch of references, and just rendered armor. Nice. So you must have liked that room at the Metropolitan Museum of Art, huh? Oh my gosh, yes. That, yeah. was, that was a great room to be in. Yeah, there's a lot of great... And so how long do you spend on something like this? Um, it's probably about... I think my quickest might be like... Two, two, two five minutes. Two, five minutes maybe. Hmm. And I think my longest might be like... I can spend like hours like just on one thing, making sure it looks, like, it looks right rendered. I see. Now, to answer your question right away on YouTube, yes, Joe has a Tumblr. Yes, the link is right below the video uh, in the info uh, paragraph right over there. So yes, visit Joe's Tumblr and follow him if you like his stuff. That would be really cool. I mean, I'm a big fan of Joe's stuff. It, it's, I'm, I'm not quite able to pinpoint like a, a word that I, I want to say for like the style. It's kind of like pinpoint, like pinpoint accurate with like his characters, which I, I really, really dig. Clean is another way I would describe Joe's style. Detailed out. I feel like that comes from like working with ink a lot, especially in this sketchbook. Mm. So that's a great beard. That's a man right there. Yep. So, what specifically do you want to do when you graduate from college? Um, Keep flipping. Keep okay. flipping. Okay. <laughs> uh, I guess, I don't know, there's like, there's three things in particular I want to do, but I guess one I could do like right when I get out of college for like a job, I guess like for freelance stuff, and that'd be like uh, character designing. As you can see in the sketchbook, there's a lot of characters and just a lot of like process in there, so mm. that's something I enjoy doing, so. Nice. Um, after that, I could I could work um, illustrating. Very cool. Yeah. And after after all that, like once I have myself settled down and have all the skill I need, I can start animating. Nice. So that that was a storyboard, right? We just passed that. Mm -hmm. For your animation at school. That or? was that was um my first uh, that was the uh, storyboard for my first semester um film. Cool. So you like historical stuff? Yes, historical historical stuff. Uh, some fantasy, a lot of fantasy in there. Nice. I, I tend to go around. So these are just some drawings from the Metropolitan Museum of Art. Uh, Greek wing, Roman, uh, African wing, European sculpture court. I think you had a pretty good day that day too. Yeah, that was that was a great day. I was glad. I was so glad to be there. Oh yeah, the oh there's arms and armor. There you go, Asian wing and even Egypt. So you hit all continents there. Yep. Peanut shapes in the Degas room. Mm. Perfect. Yep. And then we closed with that wonderful horse. And then you went home on the day, on the train that day, and you just happened to draw like an owl, owl. silverback. An owl. I was just like, <laughs> I just rem I just remembered like this one mythical creature called an owl bear, and like that sounds kind of cool. Let me see what that looks like. So I drew. I found a picture and I drew it. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, the red really looks good in your sketchbook. Yeah. Good 
good, good, good. Yeah, we were going to film Joe's sketchbook last week, and then all of a sudden they had decided to rebuild a water tank on the roof. And it was so loud. I'm like, yeah, this isn't going to happen. <laughs> Inking. So you've done a lot of inking in, in the past. Mm -hmm. That's pretty, um, pretty good stuff. Yeah, back in high school, that was pretty much all I like all I did. When I couldn't like work on um, work digitally, that's just like how just how I would finish on the pieces. Mm. Just inking, I guess, like color pencil sometimes. Good. Lots of details. Studying a little bit of anatomy. Yeah, towards the uh, towards half the year, where you might have seen uh, Matt's message like halfway through the book, um, he said to start um, studying like anatomy. So I just like started studying anatomy. Just think, looked yeah. up, yeah, just looked up all the bones and just try to re recreate the drawings I saw. Yeah, you see, you have uh, great ideas and and great attention to detail. Just need anatomy and a touch more gesture, and you're and you're good to go. Wow, look at this. These are beautiful. Very nice. Okay. Some notes. Some class. Might as well take notes. Pay, mm -hmm. Paying this much for college. Yes. I like the small moleskin because I'm able to film it much easier than the big um, sketchbooks. You have to stand on a ladder when you have to like get the whole thing? Yeah. Good job. I like that you're using tone as well. All right, cool, cool. So whip out the other one. So Joe has two toned uh, sketchbooks here that I just absolutely love and I'm trying to keep this video like under 15. So we're going a little bit faster here. Right. Uh, just because of YouTube and, and the size restrictions that I have with an HD video. So this one's your oldest one. Yeah, this is this is the one after um, the moleskin. Yeah, uh, I think this is still like this is halfway in, like in the year too. Okay. I finish this one like faster than I usually do, which is weird because I just take my time with sketchbooks. And um, keep going, keep going. And what uh, pencil do you primary are you using in this sketchbook? Um, some some of it was um, using just a like regular like three H. Mm -hmm. But uh, after you showed me like that um, the black color race pencil, I just I, don't, I fell in love with it. Just kept using it like everywhere. And you're using like a white pastel pencil in here. Yes. And in your previous sketchbook, because these are just questions that a lot of people on YouTube like to ask, mm -hmm. what type of uh, pen do you use to ink? Uh, microns, okay. pretty much just a .005 or .01. Those, okay. pretty, those sizes work for me the most. Okay. Nice. So most of these, you would say, are out of your imagination. Mm -hmm. And when did you start drawing? Like, have you just been doing it for years? Uh, ever since I could pick up a crayon, pretty much. Hmm. Yeah. I think it was about, like, two or three. I just started drawing. Started drawing, like, all the cartoons I saw on TV. Uh, like, wow. Yeah, just Rocket Power. Uh, I think Dragon Ball Z was around at the time, so I, like, did a lot of that. Um, yeah, just, like, uh, TV shows, keep commercials. Going, keep going. Yeah. A lot of stuff. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, okay, that was a sketch for your big, nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, flip that one too because um, I want everyone to see a little bit of that perspective. It's really good that you're doing scenes too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the scenes are going to be really important for your whole character design, so you have a nice balance. Yeah, we, when we study like layouts in um, in my uh, storyboarding uh, storyboarding story pitch class, like that's the one thing you got to focus on like a bit, just. Uh, Making sure there's perspective right and the scene looks good. Yeah, yeah. That's funny, that's like an optical illusion. From this view, that looks like the inside of like a pomegranate. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
Seriously, I thought it was like the inside of a cave or something. Well, interesting from the side. Good, good, good. I think it was around this time where I started like uh, I picked up a, a like the markers for mm -hmm. the first time in a while. I think I used like the uh, C9, C6, or C2. You'll probably you'll see them a bit later. Uh, which ones I used? Uh, they're Copics. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, they work pretty good. Really, really, they bleed a lot. So yeah, that's the only thing in sketch was I, it's tough. Yeah. Beautiful skulls. Mm -hmm. I guess while we're, I guess while I'm talking about like some of the materials I use, um, some of the other like thicker like ink lines you might see in my drawings, like I use mm. with the, uh, here. Um, I also use like a Tombow like brush pens. Okay. Yeah, they they're really they're really good. I picked those up um, over the, like over the summer in my um, pre college class. A little drawing that one. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, I used to teach the pre college class and I gave it up, but. Uh... Was it at SVA? Yeah. Oh, that would have been cool if I had you in there. Yeah, that would have been really cool. Ah, and there's my favorite piece. This was um, a sketch for a big, big 20 by 30 piece that Joe did and I the atmosphere on that sketch is just phenomenal yeah pause on that if you if you want to like you know look at it some more yeah I love that that's my favorite one again the markers they bleed a lot so got, yeah. some, got yeah. a lot of carryover I think I also did uh, dabble in a little bit of a uh, tattoo design for when I, you know, for when the characters like meet them. So you can see Joe has got a lot of technical details going through his mind. I mean, that's really good stuff to be able to think about all these different details for each character that you draw. It's not an easy thing to do. No. So that is definitely, you know, that's a, a trait that you have going for you, paying attention to details. And then not only paying attention to details, but thinking of the details out of your own mind, is that's a whole nother. It's a whole nother thing. Yeah, absolutely it is, and getting it down on paper. All right, so we've got a few pages left. We're coming up on the 14 minute mark. Um, let's see, the, the last few in here, some nice anatomy study, mm -hmm. some beautiful birds. It's a good sketchbook. That's a really cool, crisp, neat little sketchbook right there. Thank you. In your own style, beautiful. These birds do have a lot of gesture. Excellent stuff. We're going to the Museum of Natu Natural History next week for our last class. And uh, just show me a couple pages in this one. Okay. Because so we have like a, um, a minute or two. Okay. And there's this great room with all these birds and it's just, I'm looking forward to going there. Yeah. So uh, just uh, some uh, fan art stuff. You can find you can find that on uh, this piece on my blog. Okay. Yeah. And this is this how is, old is this sketchbook now? This is the sketchbook I'm working on right now. Okay. Yeah. Still still work in progress. So. Was that one for Shay? <sighs> I don't know. I don't think that one was. For, I don't think that one was for Shay. Not that one. <laughs> okay. Uh, some value studies, I guess, for uh, watching. Uh, now you see me. Had okay. Some, yeah. Had some nice. Uh, had some nice. It led your eye like to like the trick 
like that was being performed. It was, it was quite clever. All right, so we're just about you know, over 15 minutes. Why don't you just slip through a couple more and we'll call it quits because I don't want this one to go too long. But um, all right. I really, really, really appreciate you sharing all three of these sketchbooks. Yeah, no problem. And I think that your work is really awesome. And again, I know the biggest question is, uh, where can I find more of Joe's work? Well, there's the Tumblr link right underneath the video mm -hmm. information. The link to my uh, website, Drawing Tutorials Online, is there. You can visit my homepage and sign up for a free course while it lasts. And um, yeah, definitely share the love with, with Joe and, and, and follow him on Tumblr. I think that would be really, really good. All right, Joe, thank you so much for sharing this sketchbook. I really want to appreciate you staying after class. And I want you guys to say hello to Shay. And she is someone all unto herself. Look at that colorful bag. Are you serious? And look at those yellow pants. Shay is someone all unto herself. Thank you, Shay. I know you're going to kill me. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you soon.